BMF Season 2 opens in the late 80s in Detroit, where Misha has plans to expand, and we hear him say, we're about to take over the whole nation as his crew toasted the Black Mafia family, and this trailer gave us a glimpse of what to expect in terms of turf wars, territory beef, drive-by shootouts, as we'd expect based on the era we're in. And so we can expect to see a lot of death, blood, broken families, and also as the trailer showed, a potential breakdown in the relationship between Meech and Terry. And so in this video, we're going to break down the trailer and what we can expect for BMF Season 2. Now the official logline for Season 2 reads, Rooted in authenticity and told with grit, heart, and humor, we parachute into the season with Meech and Terry at odds. Meech wants to expand the business beyond Detroit, yet Terry is no longer in the game and is focused on school and launching a legitimate car ride service with his pops. As the season unfolds, the streets implode and the brothers risk losing everything. We found out what happens to Meech and Terry as they both seek to become stronger than ever and strategically execute a new vision. And just to add to the official logline, Meech had this to say, I can tell you that he has to elevate his mind. Everything about him is elevating, so he's becoming bigger, wealthier, and wiser. Now in season 2, the 50 boys are dead and so are the 12th Street Boys, and from now on, they're BMF, and as we all know, it's better to wear together than against each other, and with Lamar no longer in the picture, they can do things a little different. When Lamar was in charge of the 12th Street Boys, you could never have imagined them working together. He was all about revenge, violence, and taking back what he believed to be his before he went inside, but now they're going to pool all their resources together, and so they'll have more money, more men, and that allows them to have more opportunities to expand, or just like Meet said, take over the nation, and someone who's going to be involved in helping them is Goldie. She's a sophisticated Atlanta strip club owner with swagger and street smarts. She forms an alliance with the Flannery brothers, which will help them fuel their migration from Detroit to Atlanta. A fierce protector of her dancers and the people in her world, Goldie isn't afraid to take care of her business, no matter what the cost. So taking over the nation is the vision for season 2 and this transition from Detroit to Atlanta and Goldie's influence is something to keep an eye on. But there are always others that have what you want or want what you have and based on the trailer we can expect a lot of territory beef. The news report says the turf wars are escalating and entering new territory will of course mean coming across new enemies and new beef. So we're going to see Meech having to protect himself and look over his shoulder as well as come toe to toe with new players. And no doubt, as they raise their game and risk it all, they will be somewhat successful with their vision. But Pastor Swift does have some wise words. I can respect that, brother. But remember, pride often comes before the fall. Now, Pastor Swift isn't the only one with wise words. In season 1, there was a clear discontent between Charles and Meech. And even though Terry was involved in the game with his brother, Charles and Lucille never gave up on Terry. They always felt if Meech was a bad influence, and they accepted the fact that they'd lost Meech to the streets, but they never felt as if they fully lost Terry, especially after they saw Terry being shot in the eye, which led to a botched eye surgery, and with the surgeon who completed the procedure being found with alcohol in his system, which resulted in a settlement of 150 k after all expenses and taxes, and all they needed was Terry's signature. But when they went to sign the paperwork, they learned Terry couldn't touch the money until he was 18. But they couldn't risk going to trial and be put under immense microscope because in turn, that would have risked exposing the game that Meech and Terry were in. So with Charles and Lucille never happy with the path Terry was pursuing with Meech, they showed him an alternative. Jay Friedman lives here. He owns a car service. Sometimes I drive for him on the weekend. Sure, and business ain't bad. He makes about $85 a day after paying for the driver and gas. Oh wow, that's like, that's 600 a week with just four cars. That man's clearing close to 125k annually. People gonna always need a ride, son. They showed him a man who had a car service company which would be the perfect family business as well as legit income. And for those who know the real life story of Black Mafia Family, know they used to use cars to transport drugs and money and that's something we're going to come back to later on. So in the trailer for season 2, we hear Charles telling Terry to learn how to be a real man by making an honest living. And we already know from the ending of season 1, Terry was already in two minds about being in the game. He'd been shot 
he saw the consequences and with him having also having a baby, responsibilities change. But the consequences of him being in the game and having to constantly look over his shoulder led to Wanda leaving with their son. And so you can't blame Terry for telling Meech he wanted out of the game. Something he echoed in the trailer for season 2, he told him he's out. But at the end of season 1, Meech took it as him turning his back. But regardless of whether he was turning his back on the game, we all know once you enter and get a sniff of the money and power, there's always something that will pull you back in and we're gonna get to that in just a moment. But someone who's gonna play a role in Terry's story going forward is Marquisha Taylor, who was introduced to us in season 1 and we're gonna see their relationship turn a lot more serious. He tells Marquisha that if she was his woman, he'd cherish her, but we've seen this over and over again in the game. This only causes more problems and conflicts, especially when there's love involved, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Marquisha influence some of Terry's decision making. And one of the conflicts we are going to see are with the brothers. There's a part of Terry where he wants to go legit and run the car services company, and we see that in the trailer, but then there's a part of him who wants back in the game. And so we're going to see Terry come back to Meech, but Meech tells Terry, I thought you were done with the game. Get in the game or stay out of it and I'm sure we all know what choice Terry's gonna make but it's gonna be a decision which will at some point in the future end in them going in different directions. Now problems in the game, territory beef and issues with connects and other gang leaders is only one aspect, family is another but we've all had the saying, blood doesn't necessarily make you family, loyalty does but Terry doesn't know who to trust in his family and it seems like there's gonna be a lot more issues than just a street game. We all know Charles has certain morals and beliefs. We know Lucia loves all her kids, but petrol will be added to the fire when and if they find out Terry's back in the game. And maybe even using the car service company that was supposed to be clean. But as Lucille gives a passionate speech about how her sons come from a broken city and not a broken home, something that has contributed towards this broken city is the corrupt law enforcement. Detective Bryant gave JMO to Meech at the very beginning of BMF, and they do have a long history but one which definitely turned after the death of Detective Lopez. And so we're gonna see Bright with a new partner, someone who says they don't get to pick and choose who they save. But sometimes money does talk, money which Bryant did throw back at Meech's face. But everybody has a price, especially law enforcement. But that's a breakdown for the official trailer of BMF Season 2, which will no doubt give Meech and Terry more obstacles to overcome. They'll be confronted with issues with their own crew, territory beef and more death along the way, as well as family issues. And at what cost is Meech willing to expand and risk it all? Drop all your thoughts and theories down below for BMF Season 2. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything BMF as well as Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.